got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a call up. The whole time. Yeah, I got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a call up. The whole team. and dirt from dragging them along the pier when all this is going through. Give you a little overview once I got them all set up and clean. load up a fish like I said yep got my five and actually Nora got three of them I thought it was four but yeah we threw a few of them back because they were a little too small but she had a good time so let's go and get these okay. filleted up real quick bubble blade just because it's dealing with all the hard scales on them but we'll see yeah I'm gonna it doesn't have much of a backbone on it but only because like I said I'm going through the scales over here on the back side and a lot of these have some calcium buildups on, on their bones and stuff once it comes down to filleting the meat part and or softer fish, say speckled trout, that's when that blade would be a lot more handy. good little test too because I uh, when I was deciding to keep the fish I was checking the scales to make sure like I said in the video of uh, which ones I was deciding to keep all of them were in great looking shape meaning through the scale I didn't see no blood marks when you see bloody bloody scales in there that's when um, you can uh, tell that there's worm or parasites in there so because I didn't see none of that I felt very confident that there wasn't any uh, parasites in there. However, if they just started infecting the meat, you'll see them, but they're barely starting to grow, so there won't be too many. When the scale, they're showing through the scales, that shows you that there's a lot of them in there, and then you can make the choice to let the fish go or retain it, but that'll be at your own discretion because at that point, you don't know how much of the meat is, is infected and so forth. So. Yeah. 
two good fillets right there. Bart! What's up, Bart? Hey, what's going on? Filleting fish. <laughs> doing is I'm slipping my knife in between the scale and the fin. There's a thin membrane of skin there. And I just roll it up over the over the bones all the way up. Tend to catch a lot of the fins because they'll be to one side or the other. And then toward the top then you cut through the scales right there. got here at a good time because boats I and mean, the guides haven't started coming in yet. It's perfect for me because now I got the whole cleaning table and not a whole bunch of people talking or music blaring. So. Whoa, what's going on, man? Had, a, had another good night of fishing. Hey, got out here? Huh? Out here? No, no, I went to another spot. Uh, me and my daughter went out there. We did this in about two hours. Oh, well, they're sweet, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I owed her a fishing trip because I went fishing on my birthday and I went during the week and she was at school, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I went home to go get my gear and she's like, I'm going. I was like, oh. <laughs> Rainy, cold, windy, and she <laughs> Hell yeah, man. She did not care. She's hard ass. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, she pulled in three of these on her own. Like, I mean, I have to hold the rod because it's a 10 foot rod. But those that, are nice ones, too. Those are all perfect, man. Oh, yeah. I like the big ones. A lot of people say they got worms and all that. You, you just got to check the scales. If they're not bloody, then there's no parasites. Okay. But if they're bloody, they look like they've been beat up, you yeah. throw them back. You know That's a good information there. Oh, yeah. I'm recording for the channel to pass it on. So. All right. Yeah. Hey, well, congratulations, man. Yes, sir. Take and care, you buddy. too, man. Those those new packaging look awesome, bro. Hey, thank you. Yeah. That, that, how's that going for you? We're at we're in eight Walmart now. And and uh, go for 100. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Appreciate the help. Hard life tackle, too, brother. Oh, yeah. We're, we're still getting them out there and stuff like that. I'm just eating through the inventory because remember when I ordered that 400 of them? We still had like two or 300 in the back. That's awesome, man. And so I pulled them out. I was like, like hey, let's, let's get them out there. Yeah, yeah. So. Hey, you take care, brother. You too, boss. It's good seeing you, man. You too. Teaching knowledge, guys. That's a good thing. What I'm doing here is just going right over the rib cage, so I ain't got to worry about it. So far, so good. My inspections were good. Didn't even, like I said, didn't have to wait till I got here to find out that it had those all warmed out on them. So. Done.
love the sounds of the ocean. Even the bay. No, black drum. Black drum. Yeah. It's, it's never sees as low as a lot. Open to uh, Well, state waters. It's still open. I believe it's still open. Uh, federal, they have a they have a time period on it and stuff yeah, like I heard that. Someone so. told me federal waters closed. Yeah, but I mean, you can catch big snapper in state water too. You don't have to go way out there to get snapper. And then two, you can only keep you know four of them out there or two of them out there. Yeah. Or in state, you can keep four. Like, why? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's something I've never caught, and I've never, I mean, I've got a bay boat. I'd mm -hmm. be hesitant to go out deep, but uh, I think on a, on a calm day, I'll, I'll give it a bash. Oh, yeah. No, it, it definitely, you can catch them up close. You ain't got to go that far out. Um, you, you're you from here, or y'all visiting? Uh, South Africa. I've moved to, to Austin. Okay. We, we come here quite often. Check out my YouTube channel. It's called Team Hard Life. Like, hard life. Yeah, like my shirt. Oh, cool. Thank you. And that's, what, that's what I'm recording for right now. So have you heard me talking to my, I was talking to the camera, but. <laughs> Sorry, <the> <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. It's, uh, we, we developed the channel on knowledge. Like we help people improve the their thing. fishing and stuff. Yeah. Having that local knowledge. Because yes. you can see a ton of channels. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's really localized, but you, you know, the knowledge about the area and well, how and where. Yeah, well, it's more than that for me because I travel too. I go to like Galveston, I go to South oh, Padre, I've gone okay. up to the Trinity. So a lot of it is Texas right now, but I have a lot of people on the channel from all over the world that, that chime in because I'm at 20,400 subscribers, but I've already got over like 10 million views in the last year. So yeah, it, it, it's going. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I want I, I want, and I encourage people to ask their questions because yeah. even, even though I'm local here, I got people from all over the world that will chime in and say, hey, I do this over here in this country, or I do this in this state. And it's awesome because... Everyone like, lives together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, basically I was teaching people how to fillet fish without having to scale it. You know, I've, I've done all these fish and these are all the skills I've got off. And then I'll debone it real quick and then there's my fillet. Like, I ain't even got to worry about it. It's nice and easy. So. You catch this? Yes, me and my daughter did the other night. That's some beautiful fish. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I had a, I owed her a fishing trip because uh, I went fishing for my birthday, and it was when she was at school. So she's like, "Well, when you go next time, I'm going." And it was the other night. It was cold, wet, and rainy, but she was like, "I'm going." I was like, really? Let's let's roll. You caught it, you caught it in that weather? Yeah, yeah. They Pretty. they they actually like bad weather. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we did this in about two hours, and that's because we released another five or six on top of it. Just because they were they were a little smaller, uh, they were still legal, but we were keeping everything 20 to 29 inches. So uh, in the, that, in, that one's 29. This one was 27. In the bay or yeah, in the bay. In like, the, 
All in this area, all right here. They're they're oh. right there in the flats and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, using, using fish bites and shrimp. Uh, actually, I own a tackle shop, and I supply these guys with fish and tackle too. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, I got my leaders in there, the double drop drum leaders. If you ask them for that, we got them in there and stuff like that, and you tip them with fish bites and shrimp, and that's what we were catching them with. Where's your school? It's called Hard Life's Bait and Tackle. Yeah. If you head north, you exit Greenwood, we're yeah. right there on the feeder road. As soon as you get out, be looking to the right, I'm right there. Thank you. Yes, sir. You have a good one. Good luck. Pre-inspection when you're deciding to keep your fish, especially a black drum, you won't have that issue of having worms in there. This was a 29 inch, and like I said, you know, uh, we were checking that before I decided to keep them. They had great color all the way through because they had great color. I didn't have to worry about it. built up uh, calcium on the bone, you can feel it on the filet. Normally I can just cut like that real nice and easy. When I have to like re-stab and re-stab, it tells me that they got a lot of uh, cartilage buildup on there and stuff. So. There's, you can see all the overgrown bone right there, and that's what I was, oh, that's what I was hitting because I was trying to get the fillet, in, the fillet knife in, and then toward right here, that's when I was hitting that other one too. all the bone right there I mean, literally on the bone once it gets that rib cage it's all thin meat now a lot of people like to get the throat and all of that meat up in here but right now I'm kind of on a time time restraint because I've got a customer coming to the shop to come 
to pick up one of his rods, and I want to be there when he picks it up because this one's kind of a special deal. Um, his son passed away from a rare form of cancer, and he was only nine years old. And uh, we, had, we built this rod for him, and he wanted to come pick it up in person. So he's coming out to the shop today. So we're gonna. I want to be there for that. set of bones right here what I'll do is I'm gonna cut a little V like that and then I'll fillet off the meat and that's where now this knife can come in handy because it's straight on to the Ooh, that's nice. yeah now this is what that this knife is made for beautiful look at that fillet fatty nice all right there's one down a few more to go and I'll be out of here just make sure what I do is I cut away from it this way and cut underneath it. Oh, look, 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 I did find some worms right there. They're barely starting to grow, but like I said, they hadn't made, they hadn't started showing through the backside. So, like I said, still with that technique, you'll lose a little bit in comparison to uh, losing a whole lot of meat because of the worms, the parasites. And a lot of people too, just a heads up guys, a lot of the fish have them. Many are just cooked up and eaten because they're they're small and thin. These are just a little bigger. Once they're cooked up, you won't be you won't be able to tell they're even there. But it's just being being a little picky over here, guys. So. Too close to the rib cage. 
really nice knife. Camera shy. <laughs> camera shy, huh? I know some fish that were like that. We were getting all these hits, and as soon as we turned the camera on to start recording, they stopped hitting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give them an early Thanksgiving feast over here. I want to give them a few guys you don't want to feed the wildlife because uh, then they'll be codependent on humans to survive and, and there's nobody out here fishing because of super bad weather. You don't want to keep them all waiting for food when there's not going to be any. guys if you just check them before you actually start retaining them you'll, you'll see that that technique works great you won't have any with worms or very to no worms very little to no worms like I said 
found that one. They were just starting to get grow in that fish. So, uh, yeah, that was actually a good thing. Like I said, I didn't have almost no waste in my fish, which is great. Go ahead and jump this over here where we're supposed to, and we'll be on our way. Time to go to the shop.